You know, it's one of my favorite things. We're filming? Yes. Yeah, you know what's one of my favorite things about sitting here and looking out that window? Why? What's up? Being able to see all of Severus's ball stains. <laughs> Severus is my dog. <laughs> and those are his ball stains. <laughs> Hey, welcome back to our stupid reaction scene. It's up, Corbin. I'm Ball Stains. <laughs> That's my nickname in, your, in my phone for you. Is it? Yeah, <laughs> Ball Stains. <laughs> Are you coming over? Uh, ball Stains. When you call me, it, it pops up a picture of your mom. Oh, really? Yeah. That's good confusing, though. It does get confusing. <laughs> stupid. <laughs> Anyways, we're already off the rails. Yeah. Uh, welcome back to stupid reaction stuff. Juicy content. Stuff and things follow everywhere. Us. Just everywhere. follow us. Dripping bells. all over your, yourself. Yeah. Uh, today we're doing a movie review. Did you watch a movie? What movie? I don't know even now. Let's see um, if we watch the same movie. That's true. We should just do that one day. <laughs> just say, hey, watch a movie and let's see if let's we Let's review back. it, but not say what the film is. Yeah. <laughs> and then come back and just start talking about the movie we watched. <laughs> it's like somebody watches <laughs> like... <laughs> One of us watches DDLJ and the other watches like um, Rock and Rob of 2.0. Yes. <laughs> and you try to do that. These anyway, are just dumb ideas. Dumb, Sorry. Dumb. Today we're uh, we watched. What did we watch? Uh, did we watch Luck by Chance? We did watch Luck by I Chance. Watched Chance by Luck, which is the sequel. Oh, so, really? But it's played backwards, so oh. it feels like the first one. Oh, so he just goes. He gets progressively yes. less famous. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> this is. I don't know. We're way off the rails right now. <laughs> we're not even. Uh, the 2009 film, Zoya Oktar's debut film. Yes. Uh, and star directed and written. And it stars everyone in the Hindi film industry. It's like a Bollywood orgy. Wow. <laughs> and like Easter eggs galore that I know 57% was... were missed by us. Yeah. And I'm, yeah. I'm actually way glad we watched this now as opposed to oh my like stars. a year, two years ago. Oh, we didn't we would, we would have like, oh, the, who's that guy? <laughs> and it's Shah Rukh Khan. <laughs> when we watched that Om Shanti Om video yeah. and we were like, I don't know you. I don't know you. Yep. I don't know you, but it was better because we waited. Yeah, it was yeah. every single person imaginable, uh, but it's written and directed by Zoya Akhtar, uh, produced by Farhan Akhtar, starring Farhan Akhtar. Yes. Uh, and then also starring... Um, oh, yeah. Yeah. Well, main stars. Yeah, we've the got, main two. Yeah, yeah, Kankana Sen Sharma. And then Rishi Kapoor Rishi as well. Kapoor, Dimple. Dimple. And uh, those, then there's just everyone else. Yeah. It's literally, if you <laughs> think of somebody that's been in a Bollywood film, they're probably they're in this probably film. there somewhere. <laughs> Man. At like, least up until 2009, right? From yeah. literally the get-go <laughs> to the very end. Yeah. It was just cameos galore. Anyways, 100 cents for the review. Uh, it came out in 2009. If you haven't watched we it, you've seen we, it, we saw it on uh, Netflix, I believe it was. Uh, so go watch it. Come back. Uh, Rick, your initial thoughts, please. I liked it. Yeah? Yep. I um, And I liked it the more it went on. Yeah. So when it started, I knew it was going to be, okay, this is we're going to get a lot of cameos I can tell right off the bat this is Well it just, started with a mirror. I know. This is just I actually had to be, adjust my brain right at the uh, front. I was like, "Oh, hey, hold on. That's a mirror, right?" My first thought, my first thought it came on screen I went, "That guy looks so much like Amir Khan." <laughs> and I'm looking at him and like the scene finished, I'm like that was him, I think. Yeah. That was him. If it wasn't, it was the guy who did the voice of the dog and did <laughs> But yep. yeah, so I I knew we were going to... Well, first of all, the visuals just in the opening credits and oh, that yeah. first scene, I was like, okay. Which, well, we'll talk about the directing in a second. So the overall thing for the film was I felt like it was just a, a fun fest yeah. and a feast for the eyes to see all the cameos with some interesting jabs yeah. at the industry yeah. that then became like some legit right and left hooks. Yep. And the second half for me, and we'll talk about for me the like my favorite scene, mm -hmm. was I, it just was really interesting to me that so many people got involved with something that really does seem to be a roast in many respects. I guess it goes to show you how many people 
and that are part of the industry just they know they know they know a lot of stuff that we've pointed out before yeah uh, but anyways uh, i did enjoy this film as well i there was some issues with this film and you could definitely tell uh zoya's progression oh uh -huh. from, absolutely from uh this which was a very good debut film yeah um but you, from obviously we went like we do with everyone we went completely backwards, backwards. <laughs> that's just how we do it i guess yeah um but you go completely backwards and you see their progression from one uh how they tell a story to to the tricks they learned over the over the and then obviously they get more money even right. though she seemed to have plenty of money in this one. <laughs> yeah, which is, okay, so since we're talking about her, how, I mean, wow. For your directorial debut. To get um, every single person a match. Clearly, she already had relationship. Well, Farhan was already uh, a star. Right. Uh, and I believe her, their father is either a scriptwriter or a songwriter. I can't remember which one. He's in the industry as well. Okay. So, you know, nepotism. Ugh, hate it, right? I mean, it's just ridiculous. It's just ridiculous that Zoya gets to make films. It's like... I know. It's like, you know what it's like? It's like Leland. What's he ever done? Nothing. Getting on your channel. Exactly. What's he ever done? He's just your son. Nepotism. Sickening. It's not like Zoya has immense talent. Exactly. Which she does. Right. You know we're joking. Uh, <laughs> no. There's some watching this that, are, that don't yeah. know we're joking. I know. Uh, but yeah, so like I believe she, that's how she gets her relations. But it's still... And, you're, and, you're still a directorial impressive. debut. That's really impressive. To have everyone, and then to also, one of my favorite parts about the film is, that from a, from the get-go, she calls out multiple aspects of it. Like, from uh, the Amir Khan scene, he comes in, he's like, I delayed it just a minute. And then the director says, I don't know if you heard it, we'll fix it in dubbing. <laughs> <laughs> I missed that. Yeah, I missed I that. I was like, what? Yeah. <laughs> and I know for a fact, uh, Amir Khan love sync sound mm -hmm. uh from i believe it's the late 90s to the early 2000s so you know he was on board for for, for that oh yeah with sync style sound of and, joke yes uh it, but so like and it did it a lot in the film yeah and it took a lot of punches of what actors are training in what they're looking for talent is secondary the hypocrisy of when you're talking to the person with power you're giving them everything they want to hear and then when you walk out the door and talk to your friends you're saying the exact opposite behind their back mm-hmm that's not a Hindi film industry exclusive, by the way. <laughs> no. Um, but yeah, she she just the 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 vagina on her, man. Yeah. Like, like that's a that's a really big compliment. And if you know Betty White, you'll know even more about that. It's like saying the balls on him. But yeah. The vagina's tougher than It's balls. much tougher than that. That's <laughs> balls. Are not, to, they are not the toughest. If you haven't seen Betty White's statement about that, when she's like, I don't understand why they say if somebody's really courageous and strong, they've got like a big set of steel balls, when she's like Comparatively, when you look at the biology, anyway. Um, like, yeah. Anyways, but yeah, to just literally go after the whole industry. Yeah. Everyone. Kara Jor was in this film, and he is this, what she's making fun of. Right. Like, I was like, what is going on? I know. It's like a meta thing going on right I now. Know. <laughs> I know. I know. Uh, so I agree. I love that part of it. I There were some things that she did that were really fun, and you could see... Mm -hmm. The director in her, and why obviously, like, I don't know if it was her brother who was like, you're going to direct because I see it in you. Mm -hmm. uh, and you can't, I mean, you can, you can jump up and sound, like, nepotism, nepotism. She, she can direct, even just a framing decision where the, I, don't, I forgot his name, but the one character's reading the magazine and he's got his leg crossed and he's sitting on the couch and the table beneath him, underneath the glass holding up the table, is a statue with his legs crossed exactly the same way as his on the couch and it's a split thing. And if you're not really paying attention and just listening to the narration going on, you could miss that. And she did a lot of things like that with her shot choices, mm -hmm. but the songs were fun. But the thing that for me really was the, kind of the heart and soul of the, 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 the film for me was seeing the trajectory that Farhan and Kankana, and forgive me if I'm mispronouncing your name, I believe it's Kankana. We saw an Omkara yes. as well. Uh, is the trajectory that their roles take and how, and I want to talk more about that in a second, as far as like the whole journey, but when they reach the place where he goes to apologize to her, I'm watching her and I'm inside. I, well, I, I realized two things at that point. The first one I realized, damn it, I care. So Zoya got me to care about them, right? And the reason I knew I cared was because I'm looking at her and she's the one I cared about most. Yeah. And I'm thinking... Don't one. give in to this yep. narcissist. Yep. 
please don't just give in to him. And thankfully, she gives that great speech that was spot on yeah. about him. I'm, I'm not here to be your crutch. Yep, and the, everything's about you. Yep. You're apologizing not because you know you hurt me, it's because you feel guilty. Mm -hmm. Narcissist. Mm -hmm. And how the different trajectories they went on, he achieved all that he be wanted to become. And they're basically types throughout the whole thing. And it mm -hmm. ends with him being the quintessential star who gets everything they wanted, but is a dick and unhappy. And she realizes, you know what makes me happy? It wasn't necessarily, it was never about being a star or having the fame. What it was about was being able to do the work I love to do. And you know what? I'm happy doing the work I'm doing. And I love that it ended on that note. Me too. In That's my film. favorite thing in the film. Like the, the fact that it went back to, I'm doing this because I love acting. Yep. And obviously, you know, Sentimental, because we're actors. That's what we like to do. Uh, but, like, the fact I... Me and my wife were both screaming. It was like, do not take him back. Well, dude, I, oh, told, I freaking I, out. I was like, no! I turned to my wife. I was like, this is how you know it was directed by a woman. Yeah. <laughs> because if it was directed by a man, I'm not sure that would have been the outcome. No. I get, like, he could have been like this, oh, it's okay, we'll work it out. We'll or work it out. Something stupid when yeah. he clearly, knowingly, did exactly what he did. Uh, with no regard for her. Yes. Uh, <laughs> so like, uh, I was I was super glad that she went that direction of one not taking him back, mm -hmm. but also then it ended like this is her story. Absolutely, is, it is. You thought this was about Farhan. Yeah. No, this is about every artist who has been just working and working just because they love to do it. It's not to be to become a star, not yep. to be anything like that. I do this because I love what I do. Right. And so I love that that's, that's the message she ended on. Me too. Mm -hmm. That's my favorite, my favorite thing of the film. Yeah. Um, and I thought that everybody who were in the, the lead roles, I thought Rishi was so much fun. Yeah, he was. I, I think he was perfect for this the role. The more I see of him, the more I like him. Me he, too. He's such a, and it would've been so fun to actually like, cause he seems like a genuinely fun person. Fun and funny. Yeah. Yeah, almost very different in the comedic thing, but I don't know how many of you would remember a guy named Dom DeLuise, <laughs> but Dom DeLuise was the same kind of a spirit, really high energy, really intelligent, really seemingly fun. I think he was perfectly cast in this character. And he played a character that could have been just a buffoon, and mm -hmm. he wasn't. I actually felt like he was a, a real person. Um, I also felt that um, um, Dimple, big star, was so groundedly good mm -hmm. in this. Um, I felt like when she gave the story about how she came up in the industry, mm -hmm. it felt pretty personal. Mm -hmm. The stuff she was sharing in that it, it, I think that script had a lot of words that were resonating in some deep spaces of her personal Oh, yeah, and I think this was written from Zoya, and she probably talked to a bunch of people, including one of my favorite cameos, <laughs> Anya on That was that, <laughs> I was that, so excited I when was he came too. on screen. I was like, that's Anya on Gatcha! I was too. And then the fact that he was pitching that he would get, get a noose. I know. <laughs> And he was like, this is not a festival film. Yeah. Uh, and then he uh, came back in. So it was, very, and apparently she, I don't know if it's her or somebody else describes her, Zoya, as a combination of Anya Akashia meets Karen Johar. Oh, that's a... And so they, she kind of blends the two, like big Bollywood film, yeah. but with a lot of story and heart. Yeah, that, that would be a good... That's a good description. It's kind of, because obviously she makes big films. Yeah. Dill the Hot and do. Yeah. Big, massive film, but you still end up caring for these characters. And it's still very, and she cares about. Belly Boy. Yeah, she cares about acting. Yep. You can tell, even though this one probably had the most questionable acting by some, even though it's hard, because this has a massive cast. Uh, absolutely ginormous cast. Mm, yeah. um, but it has some of the most uh, questionable acting of probably all of her films that I've seen. Not from the main stars, but from a bunch of the supporting. The smaller things, yeah. Supporting characters. Okay. That's that's one of, one of my issues. And also there was some pacing that was, shows my growth, I think, Zoya has. I agree. She's learned how to better tell a yeah, story. The pacing stuttered some points. Yeah. And, and her... Her capacity, both with the script writing as well as the editing process, mm -hmm. has grown exponentially. But there's nothing to, to frown at. Oh no! Because when you're talking there's about a day far more film, great than there is. Better. Absolutely, far more great. Yeah. Um, I also uh, little thing, and then the larger thing. The little thing is, I thought it was really great that Rithik played the stereotypical Bollywood star. You know, and he, I thought he was just going to have a cameo. He had a Me too. He had a actual big part, in almost this. supporting role in this. I thought he was just going to cameo. Yeah. Um, the other thing that um, just was, 
I, and I know it is what it is. They were depicting it as real as it is. <sighs> the parties, man. Yeah. I just so I. Uh, <laughs> now, if it's if it's the opening of a of a film or the opening of a show, those are fun mm -hmm. because you're getting to see the people that you worked with, and you're getting to see the finished product, and you're getting to celebrate. But when you're talking about, because this is. They talk about this all the time here in LA when you're getting when you're in workshops or you're talking to people about how to get into the industry and they talk about this networking. Yeah. I literally get like bile in the back of my throat because it's so disingenuine. It's it's the fakery mm -hmm. of kiss kiss on each of the cheeks. It's the uh what is that person wearing and then just all of that BS, mm -hmm. and it's again not just exclusive to this industry. It's pretty much every film industry. Oh yeah, I liked the way it was depicted, and I liked the way that again, it was this weird roasting of the people in this very industry showing up and going, "Yeah, this is how it is. This is what we do." Yep, including some of the biggest contributors too, like Karen Johar. Right? Yeah, like like he is what you think of when you think of like. Loves star kids, loves like makes big over dramatic stuff, yeah, yeah, yeah. like has Ma all the parties. Makes promises. The guy who makes the promises to Kankana and never follows through on it. Mm -hmm. And then she showing you her character when other people in the moment, when she understands what's going on, she's crying, and then it's a dimple that walks in, isn't it? Mm -hmm. And but she covers for him because she's not a spiteful person, but my goodness, what he did to her. Yeah. I want to talk about, I thought she was probably the strongest. Uh, of, she's, the the, she's, she's the core of the film for me. Even obviously Farhan was strong, of course. He's, he's Farhan, he's a, he's, a, he's a great actor. But I, I thought her character was the one that could really shine in this. I was most happy when she was on, on screen. Yeah, and I'm yeah. so glad that Zoya decided to go with the storyline of him basically, like, you're like, oh, he's the main character. He's going to be the good guy in the end. And then right. kind of just flipped it on. He ended up being an absolute yeah, asshole. Yeah, and I love that Farhan took on that portrayal because it shows, and it's not a surprise, I think Farhan's an actor. I think he'll just take on a role that is something that he'd like to portray. I think, he's, yeah, he's proven that. Yeah, yeah, he's not interested in hero, negative role, none of that. <clears throat> what matters to him is... Can I embody this character and make it believable? And he does. He made it. He's so believable because he obviously can portray somebody who's going to be a star, and he's nice enough so that he doesn't villainize the narcissist. Mm -hmm. Because that's the reality is a lot of narcissists are really nice and they're very charismatic, mm -hmm. and they draw you in. And when you first get to know them, you think they're the sweetest, most wonderful people, and then you discover, ha, no. And <laughs> that that was the way it was with Farhan and his portrayal. And he yeah. never he never villainized the character. Like even when he was obviously literally cheating on his girl, and right? She came, and he was an absolute asshole to right. her, and and all that kind of stuff. You still felt for him a little bit, and it's like. That's good. You're supposed right. to. You're supposed to. He, yeah, like, he's awful. Yeah. He deliberately cheated on his girlfriend. Exactly. And literally did not care. But what it did, I totally agree with you, is while I was watching him, and it's a, it's a tribute to the way it was written, and it's a tribute to Farhan, and the way he portrayed Vikram, is that I remember watching him with this actress, and I wasn't quick to judge him, because I was thinking to myself... How would I respond? I know how I hope I would respond in that situation, but what would I do if I was on set somewhere for the first time at that age, mm -hmm. you know, a much a younger, like 30 years old. I guess he was younger than that. He might be in his 20s, yeah. but I put him at the oldest at 30, right? Mm -hmm. And you're on, you're on set with, with somebody who is, granted, she's new, but she's a star and she's the she's, daughter of a star, star kid, yeah. right? And... When she walked into the room and she was wearing just her pajamas with her midriff showing and everything else. Oh, you knew it was coming. You knew it was coming. But you hoped that he would. You hoped he was going to stand <coughs> off. But at the same time, you understand that there's, there are guys that screw up in that situation. Yep. And the best of the best of people that you can think of, they're human beings, have screwed up in that situation. So you hated him for it, but th it was well done enough that I wasn't just going, ah, what a dick. Yeah. You know? Absolutely. And then you, you, like you even said at the end when he was trying to apologize, and even though we were still like, yeah, don't take him back, you still felt you're like, yeah, you, you might have made a mistake, but I think it was also deliberate. Uh <laughs> yeah. 
<laughs> I'm much more cynical in that area. Yeah, and, it, and you do, you're holding out hope that, not that they're going to get back together, but you do hope that he's going to learn his lesson Yeah. And, and recognize, like, hopefully, her speech to him mm -hmm. teaches him that lesson. But that, for me, was the biggest... I was so happy she didn't yeah, go back to him. Absolutely. And uh, I loved how she incorporated all the songs. They were kind of incorporated because of the film they were in. Yeah. And so they were all kind of part of what was going on, not just a random song. Yeah. Uh, and they were really, really fun. And a uh, lot of funny, funny stuff. Everything from how upset somebody got because their entitled thing that they're expecting to have, they, they don't get it. And so they're kind of, they're flipping out. Or now that we have a hit, everything's right with the world. Yeah. Um, <laughs> When uh, Rithik was questioning, her s didn't her sister just die? Right. <laughs> yeah, that's <laughs> one of my favorite. We're dancing favorite. right now. Yeah. We that, can't have any more tragedy in this. Film. That was so funny. Another the, call out the, though. There was the the phone call. I guess it was the phone <laughs> call about somebody died, and it was it just over and over spots like that throughout the film where it was like this this world is so like this and and like has their own moral code and do their own things and I, I, if there's any gripe i think anybody's gonna have with this it would be the people who are like yeah the, those weren't right hooks and left hooks they held back so much this could have been so much and should have been so much bloodier and shown the truth about how oh, it bastardly the industry is. It definitely could have. Yeah. But obviously I don't think that's what she was going for. I don't think this was the film to do it. I think there needs to be many films made like it that reveal the dirty yeah. underbelly for sure. Yeah. Uh, but this wasn't, the, this wasn't the one to do it. It was also very interesting seeing the differences between Hollywood in all aspects of actors when they're training and what... Yeah. People in the indie industry yeah. uh, do when he, the fact that he's like, to make it in Hollywood, it's easy. You just have to know how to act. Right. Here, you have to be pretty. You have to know how to dance. dance you have, have to, to know be how to funny. Sing. Yeah. And did you also notice that they got a half hour for lunch and served themselves? Yeah. <laughs> I did notice that. Yeah. That, that doesn't happen here. The no. SAG, SAG requires, you'll get a meal penalty, first of all. And then second of all, you have people serving you. Um, yeah, it's it's quite funny. Uh, they they say actors here are pampered, but that's not because they really want to be. It's because the union requires, <laughs> and it's because there was many many years of freaking crazy abuse. Yeah, that's why we had to have a union that came and protected all of the workers in the industry. Because yeah. back in the day, including kids, we had to create laws that were protecting the kids, just like our industrial age workers had to be protected. Yep. Um, but yeah, a lot of differences that were very yeah, interesting. Yeah, a lot of differences that I liked a lot. And overall, I thought it was very good, very good film. Fantastic debut. Sorry, I thought about the acting scene at the opening. The guy's doing the scene, and then he has him sit down, and Farhan gets up, and he does the scene, and then Rishi gets up, and he does the scene. Yeah. I thought that was great. Anyway. Yeah. I, fun I, movie, worth a watch. Very fun enjoyed movie. It. Great debut by Zoya. Apparently, she's never done a bad film. Apparently so. Because the only ones we haven't really seen, there's an anthology, I think, called Lust Stories. Which we've reacted a trailer. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember that. I think that. it's actually, there's the four directors, right? Her. Yes, her. On your rug. I think Kieran Johar. I think that's correct. And I think there's another one who I don't remember. Uh, and then. It's, and that seems to be such an interesting relationship because, those are, especially on your rug. And that would be Johar. very interesting to watch that because there's all three are so different. Very different. Which would be, I think I've heard good stuff about that. So you guys tell us if, that, if that's a good one. But then obviously she's done the series. Yeah, but uh, um, um, made in heaven. Watching watching her and looking at her films now chronologically, it's really obvious that not only was she a good director at the outset, but she's just getting better with each film as good directors do. I wonder what she's doing next. Yeah, I'm ex I'm very excited to see what her next film yeah. will be. Well, let us know what the next film we should watch is uh, down below. Uh, and um, anything else? Uh, Peanut gallery. Nothing, just I'll end with what we started with. Uh, just, it's if you ever come over here, you'll be able to see Severus's uh, ball stance. Oh my god. <laughs>